Welcome to a special video podcast behind the scenes at pregame.com. We do these on occasion, and this time we're doing a special one with Vegas Runner. Should Vegas Runner buy a horse? And we were at lunch today before filming, and VR broke the news to us. He's considering buying a horse. Looking into it as we speak. As we, as we dug into the story, we felt like that we had to share this with you. So VR, just take, give us a little background. I uh, got a good friend from back east who is uh, in- involved with the horses, let's say. And uh, he- he's been doing pretty well. Word is he's doing well. So when you say he's owning the horses, or is he batting the horses? Uh, owning. All taking right. pieces of horses. Taking right. pieces of horses. And uh, you know me, I-, I enjoy that kind of stuff. So we got to talking, and he said, why don't you get in on a horse? You know, I- I'm actually looking at a couple now right. that I'm interested in. I know you got a history with horses. One time. I have uh, one, one, ex- one past experience where I was an owner, of, could have been an owner of a horse. <laughs> Word was I was owner of a horse. All right, so before we get into that, Marco, you've owned horses for how long? I've owned horses since 1986. I bought my first horse. And this is the ones with, what's, what are they called? They're, it's harness racing. Harness racing horses. Sulkies, yeah. So how many have you owned over the years in total? Oh, I don't know how many in total, but at one point I owned, at one time I had 30 in ownership of my own. 30 different horses. Yeah. All right. So tell us about your first horse So um, back in Philly, you know, I used to book and we had a card house that we always used to hang out at and play poker and bet sports, book sports. Make a long story short, there was an older gentleman who was a, a, a hustler, let's say, and, and he used <laughs> to... at this time, you didn't really know that he was a hustler. No, no, I, I thought he was the man uh-huh. at that time. You know, I just wanted to roll with him. Let's put it that way. You know, how he, old were you? He got mad respect. I was 19. All right. you he know, wasn't he, street smart yet. Like he, is I, I, he had done a little <laughs> prison stint, you know, and everybody, he was impressed by him, you know. <laughs> Make a long story short, he was in the horses at, at, at Monmouth Park. Um, so he knew I, I was doing well back then for a young kid. I was 19 years old, had a couple of other friends that worked with me and we were all doing pretty good. So, uh, he got us together and he said, gentlemen, why don't you start getting involved in horses? There's a lot of money in horses. <laughs> so he took us up to the park, up to Monmouth and, uh, you know, he had his pass. So he was able to, cause of the ownership, he took us around the stables and everything got us all excited. <laughs> Next thing I know, we go back to Philly. He talks to us a little more and, and tells us there's this great opportunity coming up of a horse he wants to claim. And uh, if we're, we're interested in going in. So anyway, we all say, yeah, I was all over it. Yeah. I was just picturing me. Uh, yeah, and I'm D- a right. You, dude, dude, I was I'm picturing me and Dwayne Lucas high-fiving at the <laughs> Derby in a few years. So I, I was all over it. I'm not going to lie. So, I, I mean, I ran home and got the cash. I didn't need no paperwork, no nothing. So we dropped the money off to this guy, give him the cash. Uh, two days later, he calls. He says, hey, went through great. I claimed the horse. Uh, we got it. No one else claimed it. It's ours now. So uh, I was like, awesome. Everything's great. When's she going to run next? Uh-huh. Tells us when she's going to run. I say, I want to go up and see her. He takes us up to Monmouth, takes me to the stables. I'm talking to some trainers. I don't know if they're trainers or they're there sweeping up the, you know, <laughs> for the horses. Make a long story yeah. short, I'm petting this horse, calling her mine, feeding her a carrot. <laughs> And uh, my baby, like yeah, baby. she's all mine. I was, I, I was upset I couldn't name her. Did you have any sense of what your percentage ownership was? I, I thought I was in for fifty percent on my own, uh-huh. and, and the other guys that were with me took twenty five percent, and and this older gentleman had twenty five. Uh-huh. So I was the main guy. I wanted fifty one, but they wouldn't give it up. <laughs> so you were, you were saying <laughs> I wanted, more yeah, money. I wanted it all, but my other friends wanted in, so I gave them twenty five percent of it. So. Uh, the horse is going to run, and uh, she runs, doesn't do anything. No big deal. We watch her at OT. Long-term view. Yeah, I said, it's okay. Hold her back. Let's get the odds up on her anyway. <laughs> I was looking for a payday, and to be honest with you, I swear, he's, he was trying to act like that's what they're doing. Just let's hold her back. Let's hold her back. She's a great horse. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm on with the plan. Just tell me when to go to the window and better. <laughs> so anyway couple weeks go by weeks go by we're paying vet bills we're paying training bills he's telling me it, it costs money to own horses <laughs> this it, ain't all just the front you can't money. just claim it. it it's not you know the 12 grand the claim isn't enough now we got to feed it we got to train it everybody's got to get paid off so no problem vr's there f- cooling out money and paying all the bills 
<laughs> yeah, as long as I figure I'm going to get a big payday when she wins. It's like Tony Soprano, the, he owned a horse. Yeah, when point. she wins, I'm going to get a payday. I'm going to have a picture, everything. That's all I wanted. <laughs> so uh, time goes by. I, honestly, I, I was probably like 15 grand in debt. Without the 12, I put the claim in. Jeez, so there was like a little over 25,000. And but, you're 19 years old. Yeah, but she's a great horse, great looking thoroughbred <laughs> with a lot of potential that's being held back you're, at, the, you're, at you're, the present. Your expert eye, you could tell. Dude, they should have seen the legs on her. <laughs> so anyway, a, more another month goes by, another month goes by. We're just paying. We're just we're just paying. The horse isn't isn't doing anything. Not winning. Not being claimed. Anyway, finally, it gets to a point where supposedly she's in a race she could win. So it's time to take the rubber bands it's off. Time to, yeah, it's time to let her go. It's time to let her go. We bet on the horse. The horse doesn't get there. Goes in like fourth. And he tells us we get a little something for that. Okay. So we get happy. It's, you know, she didn't, she didn't cooperate this time. She'll cooperate next time. But it's going to cost a little more money because the fourth place doesn't cover the vet bills and everything. So I'm still dishing out. But I'm starting to question my decision at this time. Anyway, finally... She's next ready to run, and this old guy isn't answering my phone calls for like a week or so now. We're ready to go up to Monmouth and find him. But I'm like, he's good. Don't worry. He's probably, you know, just at AC. He used to go to AC a lot. So we're at OTB, me and my buddies, and what do we see? My baby's running that day. And we watch her, and she comes in second. Dude, we had already bet winning place. We hit a couple exactas. We're high five and we're going nuts. You're thinking I mean, now this horse is dude, worth she's more? ready to go now. Yeah. And it was in, in actually in a, a higher claiming race. So I'm like, he, my buddy's like, I told you the old man knows his stuff. <laughs> Just patience. Now she's going to be worth more and more and more. So anyway, we go up to the track like uh, a couple days later. And I go to find, where I know where the stable was, where the horse was supposed to be. And I find the trainer and I'm like, where is she? And he said, who? I'm like, my horse, where's my <laughs> horse? He's like, your horse? I said, yeah, where is she? He said, your horse, he sold her three months ago. <laughs> I said, what? He said, dude, he only held her for one race. He got, he, he got rid of her right away. <laughs> So here we were oh, celebrating. She, she, he sold her three <laughs> months ago. So you were paying? I was paying for a horse I didn't own, <laughs> celebrating her victory and crying in her defeat with her. And uh, I, I even had to, because it was my idea, I even had to give my 25% back to the friends that. Oh, did you ever hear from this dude again? I convinced him. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 of course, we, we saw him again. He's going to show his face and stuff. <laughs> And at one excuse over another, over another, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. Make a long story short, VR was out the money. Never got my money now, back. A couple questions. We got to wrap. We got about 90 seconds. One is, when you were petting the horse, what are the odds that was actually your horse? I, I don't think it was. <laughs> uh, it didn't look like the one on TV. That I could promise you. I, I, I thought, honestly, I was like, I, I know she was darker. Uh, and it could have been the color, could have been the TVs at OTB, not the now, best. Now, what, we were walking back from lunch, we weren't sure if we were going to do this video, but then you said one thing that made me know that we had to do the video, <laughs> is you told us that, <laughs> that who took you to the track? I, I, was, I was in first grade, okay? My family, quick, came, quick, quick, quick. family came straight from Greece. My parents didn't even speak any English, okay? In Greece, they don't have zoos or anything like that. Any animals are for food or, 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 or in the country. Make a long story short, I have an uncle who's a player. To this day, single, engaged 15 times. So he was, I was his favorite. So uh, he would take me with him on Sundays until I thought, he told me we're going, I'm going to take him to the zoo. <laughs> I find out after I go back to school and when you tell Monday what you did over the weekend and I explained what I saw and what I did at the zoo, a uh, teacher calls in my parents for a conference to let them know your son was at the track. <laughs> <laughs> your son was uh, not uh, at the zoo. So we got to wrap is if VR ever does his autobiography. Do I get in on this on. horse, fellas? The, title, the title's going to be, my uncle took me to the track and told me it was the zoo. And I believed it. <laughs> All right, so go to the forums and tell us, should VR buy... Get back into the horse game. I don't think so. I learned a lot the first time. This was uh, behind the scenes at pregame.com. You can get all of our videos at pregame.tv.